Hello, Jennifer Tucci here. And I am in what is called Walkerville. Um, it's in the vicinity of Butte. But it's so damn high up in the streets that it's also nicknamed Walkerville. As a matter of fact, there's officially a sign that says, you are now entering Walkerville. As a matter of fact, I took a bus that said Walkerville to get here. Yes, and could climb up here, it would have taken a lot. There was no way I could climb up here. But I'm going to show you something. That plant was growing up. Fight. I think some people have stopped fighting about it. Yes, because the name has stopped changing. Which, thank goodness, it has. Yes. No, not that, not that, not that. And this is this. Bar. Let's get my hand out of there. Here, come here, come here, come here, get out of here. Okay, yes. This bar. <clears throat> yes, not a big bar. Cement sides. No real windows, just those little blocky things and the name. Pisser's Palace, yes. Enjoy Coca-Cola. <laughs> Still open to this day, yes. Still open to this day. But there has been there has been fights about it. Here, let's turn you around. Come on now. There has been constant fights about this bar. About the name, yes. Every couple of years, as I was growing up, and hey, since before I was growing up, um, some lady or other kind of person would get very angry at Pisser's Palace, the name, and they would make them change it. So, they have another sign inside in the basement. <laughs> Isn't it interesting? In Butt, Montana, yes. And it's spelled P I S Z E R S. Yes. So it go, they go Pizzers Palace. <laughs> but everybody knew what it meant. And they would get away with it. And, um, it would like every time it got changed back to Pisser's Palace, when everybody would stop complaining about it and, um, get their, their, the bug out of their butt about it, or the person would find something else to complain about. The chat sign would change back to Pisser's Palace, yes. And it has been for about five years now. It has been Pisser's Palace, yes. And there is a block party throne. I have never officially been to one. You can't really drive down the street. Interesting. <laughs> because the whole front of Pisser's Palace, because it's a, as you see, it's a, you know, see, it's a rather small place. Yes, it's still open, yes. No windows. Yes, it opens at 11. It opens at 11 today, yes. Yes, let me sit down here. Ah, 
Yes. It opened at 11 today. Very interesting. I find it always very interesting. Pisser's Palace. They can never, never. Let me try to burn it down once. A Christian group tried to burn it down. That's before I was born. But as I was growing up, it was always the big, it was the big, like, notorious fight. The fight to keep pissers, being called pissers, and not pissers. <laughs> That's a big fight in Pete, Montana. And also recently, hello. Um, there's another bar in Butte that has gone through a lot of troubles. And um, yes, another another bar that has gone through some troubles. Um. It has been standing for a hundred years now, but uh, this winter it got burnt down, and damn, we have like numeral uh, numeral. It's like we have tons of bars in this in this um in this town. Imagine your town and multiply by three, four, maybe eight, and you'll know how many bars there are in but Montana. Yes. And man, they're fighting to get that place rebuilt. Yeah. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> Yes, and there is an underground tour of all the mines in Butte that I have never taken because I'm severely claustrophobic and refuse to go down it. But maybe I will think about doing that for you guys this summer. Yes. You guys have given me strength. Through all my hiding days. Yes. And maybe I'll go on and show you some of the weird things we have. Like we have secret entrances to bars. Secret entrances to Chinese brothels. It's amazing. But I better go now. Everybody have a nice day. <laughs>